Hello, my name is Lamont Taylor, CEO and President of Get Me Recruited. I wanted to make this video just to show my appreciation to everyone uh, who made uh, last weekend's Super Showcase weekend with the freshman event, the Hot 100 and the Super 60, such a success. Um, it took me a week to make this video because you may not have known it, but I was absolutely exhausted. Uh, Usually when I'm exhausted, my voice is the first thing to go. So up until Wednesday, I couldn't even talk. Um, just, it took so much to make this happen. And I just want to send out a couple of thank yous to uh, some people. And I apologize if I missed some of you. There's so many people that made this happen because it was such a big project. First of all, I want to thank Mr. Hall and Freedom Courts for being such great host. Um, it's a beautiful facility. Um, and it's going to be a, a spot that we use in the future and probably more people uh, because it's just such a nice facility. Uh, I also want to thank New Balance uh, and Marriott for being uh, our corporate sponsors and, and taking care of our people and making sure that um, we had a good place to stay, um, that we had gear and so forth. So I want to thank them as well as my coaches. Um, we had 56 teams over the weekend, 400 kids. That took a lot of coaches, a lot of uh, time for them to uh, pour into not just their kids. Many of them didn't even have kids in it themselves. So it's easy from the outside to maybe critique a coach or criticize a coach, but just take a moment to, to realize that they're doing that for your child. Be appreciative of that because people volunteer their time and it, it really should uh, go, shouldn't go without, uh, you know, notice of, you know, the time and effort they put in to teach your child. Whether, whether they're the greatest coach or not um, is really irrelevant when it comes to the time and patience and, you know, the care they give to your kids. So I definitely want to give a shout out to all my coaches and there were so many of them, as well as my trainers. Uh, Christian Gray did an excellent job of, of, you know, organizing the trainers and, and getting them in the places they need to be. Um, we had some great trainers again this year from Steve Mims, my guy at Cape Fear, uh, Stefan McQueen, longtime friend of mine, Tim Fields, one of my right hand man, uh, who's, who's very uh, knowledgeable. Um, we had Chris Meadows come this time and Coach Tiffany Weathers. We really had some great uh, trainers, and I want to thank all of them because it took a lot of trainers over two days to handle, um, you know, this massive size, and, and they brought a wealth of knowledge, and they brought a lot of energy, and if you didn't get a chance to experience it, you really missed something great. Uh, eight baskets, eight trainers going on at the same time was something to see. I want to thank Mel and my referees. They did a great job of rotating on and off. Um, again, all of this was done during COVID. So a lot of people had to make a lot of adjustments. Our referees had to make adjustments to make it work as well. All the different organizations, man, we had, you know, literally uh, about a hundred different organizations uh, to send kids. And, you know, I'm not going to mention organizations because I'm going to leave somebody out. There were so many great organizations that came from 28 different states. So um, I want to give all of them a thank you for sending their kids and, and uh, supporting their kids and actually giving their kids the exposure they need and trying to help their kids, sending them in the right direction. Many coaches hold on to them and don't want nobody to see them, and that's really counterproductive to what you should be trying to do for the child. So we want to thank those that actually came. Uh, my performers, uh, Kyle Chaotic out of Charleston, you know, because of COVID, people had to wait outside in order to get in. And we had performers to come from Charleston to uh, actually come help, uh, you know, give some entertainment to the crowd while they had to watch. And it was really great. Um, my athletic trainer who was there, she was there both days, all day. Miranda Hammonds from Purnell Sweat. Thank you for coming and, and, and doing everything you did to keep everyone safe. Uh, the media, there was so much media there. And I know... I'm going to forget some media that came, uh, and I apologize ahead of time, but the ones I could think of is Elite Mixtapes and Bucket Reel and Stuck Up Vision and 
Kata Shooter, she came for the first time this time. Uh, Elite Exposure came. Uh, PDS Sports Recruiters came. Um, and, and I'm missing some, but I want to thank you all for coming um, and, and providing a platform for these kids to get the exposure. Without you, we couldn't do it by ourselves. Uh, my man OG from New Jersey, Sean McRae, he, he came down to, and I give him so much credit for coming all the way from New Jersey so he can see you know, what we're doing now here, and he wants to bring that type of exposure to the state of New Jersey, and he has our full support, and we're going to work with him to do so, but for them to come down and just want to see it for themselves, say a lot about him and what he wants to do for his area. Um, Jeffrey Merrill of Athletic, uh, eligible athlete uh, with his booth and filling in and other roles, but giving parents the knowledge that wanted to know about high school transcripts and, you know, being eligible and so forth. Um, that was great. Um, the players, so many players from so many different areas, and they came to compete. And I'll tell you, you know, one thing that I pride this our camps on is you're not just going to go and go on cruise mode. No matter how good you are, you're going to have to compete because – our camps, they come to compete. So regardless of what you've done at other camps, when you come here, they're coming to come at you. It doesn't matter whether you're unknown or you're ranked number one in your area, your state, or what. They're coming for you. And the competition was so good. I mean, I could go on and on. I mean, they were dunking more or just as much in the middle school event as they was in the high school event because that's just uh, – the type of talent that was there, uh, it was amazing to see. Uh, probably one of our biggest uh, groups of Hot 100 kids, middle school kids there, um, you know, 6'6", six, 6'8", six, 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 it was just ridiculous. In fact, our MVP was a 6'5", uh, eighth grader that was uh, Jaquan Womack, who did an excellent job. Um, our parents, um, I can't say enough for you uh, and your patience with us. Um, this was not an ordinary event for us. So uh, we literally had a game plan that had to be scrapped and changed seven days before this event began is when I got the new guidelines of what we had to do to change. So we had to come up with the volunteer system in order to get you in to watch your kids. Um, that was a tremendous task that sent all of our game plan out the door, and we had to re, you know, re reevaluate how everything was going to work logistically wise. And you parents were, for the most part, gracious and patient, and 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 you know, helping us get through it because at one point we weren't even sure how we we're going to get through it, and we really needed the cooperation and patience. Of, of the parents. Uh, now, were there some, or I won't say some, but a few that were um, rotten apples in the barrel? Absolutely. And I just hope that, you know, you reevaluate and think how big of a job this must have been and how we're trying to provide that platform for you guys. Um, it, it's not easy. It's, it really isn't easy. And a lot of stress, a lot of anguish, a lot of, you know, a lot of people were tired. There's a lot of things that had to happen in order to make it successful as it was. And for the most part, most of you were um, very understanding, and that was big for us, um, uh, especially behind the scenes. You have, you know, again, no idea what it took for us to pull that off, and we couldn't have done it without our parents. Thank you for being understanding. Yes, we, we did have to cut some things short. Yes, we had to get you out of the gym so you didn't get to see the full effect. Yes, we had to cut things that we were known to do. Um, we're known to provide lunch. We're known to have workshops um, where you learn so much more. As We had to cut all of that out just to stay within the guidelines. So you really didn't get the full effect of a get me recruited experience and and for that we we you know we're a little bummed about it but we did the best we could with what we had to work with and I want to thank you all for just being um, you know patient with us if you order the video the video is coming uh, as you can imagine with that many kids come through a lot of kids order videos 
And there's probably, I think we got maybe a, over 150 orders um, that we take for the video company. We're putting out about five a day. So whether yours comes tomorrow or next week or two weeks, I really can't tell. Um, but they're coming out every day. So be patient. I will. You will see them posted on social media first. And then uh, at that same time, I'll be texting or emailing it to you to make sure you got it. So we're going to make sure you get it. Um, so just please bear with us. It takes a little time to go through all those you know, hours and hours and hours of footage just for your child. Um, if you do still want to um, order a video, you still have a little time, just contact me and I'll tell you how we can get it done before that, you know, time expires. Uh, reports and rankings will be coming out in the next couple of weeks. Um, again, we're trying to get these videos out, trying to get some pictures out. Speaking of pictures, the pictures that were taken from the photographer, I'm not quite as sure from this photographer as we are with our normal photographer because our normal photographer out of New Jersey had a COVID uh, quarantine. He had to do it the last minute. So literally we got this photographer um, with less than 24 hours before the event began. Like it was like Friday afternoon uh, when we were able to get this photographer. But I think we'll have a link up soon that we'll be posting uh, on our social, uh, social media as well as our website where you'll be able to uh, click and look at the unedited pics and, and before he actually edits them and then you'll be able to choose the ones you want. Um, we won't be doing any more further showcases until there's a kind of clear cut um, you know, outlook on the pandemic. We're just gonna take a step back and wait to see uh, until things clear up. Uh, again, I, I have so many people, I, I, I'm appreciative to, uh, especially my staff. They work so, so hard to make this happen. Um, this was by far the largest, um, you know, uh, task we've ever dealt with. In fact, um, as we know of, no one across the country did what we did last weekend. Not only did we pull off having three events in the same weekend, but we did it with COVID restrictions and guidelines, which was uh, totally insane and um, such a huge job, but we were able to do it. Uh, I know they were tired. They were literally exhausted because we were working, you know, 16 hour days, 17 hour days um, just to get it done. Um, so I'm very appreciative to them for pulling it off. Um, a week before the event, we, we didn't even know if we'd be able to have it. Um, just because those restrictions were hit on us. We found a game plan, we put it together, we made it happen for you all. So I hope we did uh, somewhat of pleasing you all for, for giving it a shot and, and pulling it off the best we could. Um, again, was it perfect? No. Um, you know, hindsight's 2020, but when you're dealing with 400 kids, 56 teams, dozens of coaches, dozens, you know, trainers, and, and, and it was just an enormous task that we're just, we're glad we made through and, and had a successful event. It really went uh, about as be better than I can think most people can pull off. So I'm really extremely excited that, that we were able to get through it. No major injuries, um, uh, media out the woozy everywhere. Um, it was really great. So again, I want to thank you all for your um, your support. Um, we want to thank you all for attending. We hope we see you again in the future. And if there's anything we can do to help you, as always, we're only a phone call, a text, or email away. Thank you all again. I appreciate you so much. I really do. Thank you.